subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. So what is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology should you buy an iPhone 7 Plus or a OnePlus 6? That's the question of this video. Now this video actually makes a lot of sense because the 7 Plus is actually the price point of a OnePlus 6. Now I know the OnePlus 5T looks more similar, the OnePlus 5 actually looks more similar to an iPhone 7 Plus, but if you're to buy an Apple device today in Apple Store and you want a 7 Plus, you're gonna pay the same price point as what you can get with the latest one plus six so in this video my goal is to break down this two and just decide which one is better based on my personal experience using both of them for quite some time now much longer with the seven plus but i've had the one plus for almost a month now or nearing there and i've used it quite extensively so let's begin by talking about their designs okay so we all know that this is a 5.5 inch it's a wider panel with the 16 by 9 aspect ratio on the seven plus i really like how it does this landscape mode yes you can throw a launcher nova launcher on one plus i know that but out of the box not everybody puts a launcher on you could do that with the iphone it also has you know it has like a shiny back if you do get the jet black version camera hump here for the dual camera lens and uh, it's thin and light big plus phone though and has very thick bezels so overall i think it's a clean design it is a little bit older but you can say it's classic now classic iphone if you buy it here in 2018 it's not too old looking it looks still decently modern but it doesn't look anything like the freshest, innovative, leading designs of today. Now, on the OnePlus series, the OnePlus 6, a lot of people say straight up looks like an iPhone 10 from the front due to the notch. To me, I disagree. I think it looks a little closer to like a OnePlus 5T with a Huawei P20 Pro style notch up at the top. It can be hidden in the same way. Now on the back, you can see that it does have the Galaxy S9 Plus style design. So it's a mashup. Like I said, a little bit of Huawei, a little bit of you know iPhone, a little bit of Samsung, a little bit of Google software. This is a mashup design. But I think for the price, it definitely looks a little bit more futuristic a little bit more on the innovative side than the iphone 7 plus so when it comes to a pure design aesthetic i think that most people will prefer the one plus six here it's also lighter it comes in at 177 grams versus 188 grams here of the a plus and that brings me on to their body differences like their build quality on the back here this is a polished anodized aluminum so the jet black actually feels kind of like glass but it's not glass you can get this in aluminum build as well it's a slippery hard to keep clean model same goes here with this mirror black finish but this is a glass foam with aluminum sides and uh, they both feel equally premium in my experience using them the one plus six's body feels a little bit more comfortable in the handle so if you like that handling you know ergonomics you'll really probably enjoy the one plus six a little bit more than you will over here on the eight plus or the seven plus i just said the eight plus because it's just a little bit wider a little bit fatter a little bit harder to reach things but you do have reachability here for the 7 plus one thing i don't like about the one plus is that you don't have any one-handed modes here with this device so they should add this in, in a future oxygen os update if you're watching this video one plus consider adding one-handed mode we really would love that here for the one plus six now let me quickly discuss display because both of them do have a similar calibrated display but a different display technology so you do have lcd here for this iphone and this one doesn't give you true tone so it's just your pure p3 color gamut you know, LCD retina display. It's got that flat iPad feel to it. So flat display, no curving going on here, nothing like that. It does feel like nice, like it kind of slips off the edge, like a 2.5D over here on the edge of this phone. So definitely feels nice, you know, to roll your thumb off the corners of this display, even though it's flat, it's not sharp here on the corners of the 7 Plus, but at the same time, it's your flat slab of glass here. Uh, the One Plus, again, it's another slab of glass, but at the same time, it's a little bit more curvy goes around the edges almost all screen here and again you have the little cutout to extend it a little bit further 6.28 inch and you do have some display modes in here that will allow you to change that color calibration of this display and uh, you can get it close to the iphone 7 plus by putting it at p3 here and you have adaptive mode default mode srgb and custom color modes both of these are 1920 well not 1920 here because of the odd resolution this one's actually 2280 
by 1080. This one's 1920 by 1080. But in terms of their resolution, they're both very similar, you know, in the pixels per inch, very similar there. So you're not looking at too much difference. You got a 401 PPI here and a 402 PPI here. I don't think that matters to most people. They're both plenty tack sharp. But if you're looking for a little bit of a higher resolution, neither of these phones will do the trick. But they are definitely your standard Full HD basic panels here. Both uh, very sharp. But OLED here gives the OnePlus 6 a little bit more of an inky black and more popping colors. So if you like a more saturated, colorful display, the OnePlus 6 is going to be the way to go. If you like a more natural looking display, the iPhone 7 Plus is going to be your winner here between both of them. You're not going to lose in either of these when it comes to display. Now, getting on to the software differences. So I am still running iOS 11 here on the iPhone 7 Plus. I haven't done the 12 version. I'm on 11.4. 12 is coming soon to this device. And we all know what iOS is. It's a grid of icons. We have the control center. We have our little widgets tray off to the left. Very simple UI with a ton of applications. And it's gotten much better here on a 7 Plus in the later builds of iOS 11 much better than the original builds. Battery life is so-so. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But the software overall, besides a few crashes and bugs here and there, the iOS 11 on the 7 Plus still runs extremely fast. And I don't think anybody's going to care too much about the speed. It's been fast since the A9 CPU on most iPhones. So no big deal here when it comes to performance. As you've seen on some of my other videos, the 7 Plus just is just smoking fast still. But when it comes to speed, when it comes to that software, you're talking about Oxygen OS here coupled with Android 8.1 Oreo, 8.1.0, 8 gigabytes of RAM on 128 gigabyte platform here for this one. So this thing just flies. And I mean, it's quicker than the 7 Plus. Now the 7 Plus, very fast phone, but just the way OnePlus handles the animations here on this device are just ridiculous. I mean, they'll blow you away in terms of the speed. If you've never experienced a phone as fast as the OnePlus, it will be a little bit mind blowing at first. It's that fast. So I quickly want to discuss the fingerprint scanner speed because we talked about in the speed test, but for those of you who didn't watch that, if you're deciding to buy one of these, it's really going to come down to just speed. Both of them are pretty secure with that biometrics, but the time that it takes to open the OnePlus is just ridiculously fast compared to the 7 Plus, as you can see right here in this example. There's just no comparison between the two. It's just so much quicker. So if you're looking for speed, the OnePlus 6 is the way to go here. Also, you have no face unlock abilities for the 7 Plus that came with the iPhone 10, whereas you've been having that. You can even get that on the OnePlus 5. So Definitely security features, not as secure on the OnePlus when it comes to face unlock, but for their just their fingerprints, which are more comparable here between these two, I give the win to the OnePlus 6. Now, whether you like it on the back or the front is your personal preference, but the OnePlus 6 definitely has the better scanner overall. So when it comes to software and speed, let's break it down here. If you're looking for a powerhouse performance, I definitely think the OnePlus 6 will please you and satisfy you more. Both of them have pretty simple UIs. This has a close to a stock feel, so it's very minimal, kind of like iOS. But iOS is very different in that it doesn't really customize too much. So if you're looking for a more minimal, more you know, simple UI. I think that's where the iPhone will still win here. It's going to have longer support for updates than this OnePlus 6 will, probably one more year. Even though it's a 2016 phone, this is only year two for this device. It's probably got at least three to four more years on the 7 Plus. This one's going to give you two to three on the OnePlus. So it's going to go pretty long in the updates as well, but I still think you're going to get more updates for the iPhone here on the 7 Plus. So when it comes to that, they're pretty equal. You just gotta decide, do you wanna be in Android land? Do you wanna customize this phone? Do you want more features, more user control? You're gonna want your OnePlus 6. Do you want a simple, more fluid feeling, you know, iOS experience? You're going to love the 7 Plus. It still hangs tight with all the newer phones. I mean, they just released a new iPad with an A10 CPU. This is still rocking A10 with three gigs of RAM over here on this device. So it's still plenty quick enough. One thing to note about software, though, is that with the OnePlus, you do get the ability to have a split screen mode. So if you do want to do some multitasking, it's a little bit easier to get that done here for this device. You don't have modes like this on the iPhone series just yet. So you must keep that in mind if you're truly going to be multitasking on your device. Discussing their battery life differences, this is where it gets a little bit tricky because when I first got the 7 Plus, it was extremely good, really hard to kill this battery. And I can still attest to that. It's a very good battery still iOS 11 has definitely lowered my experience. My battery health is about 98%, so 
it's not really affecting it too much it's mostly the software here that's lowering my battery life but i'm not getting nearly as much battery as i did on day one however that's said to be improving with the ios 12 so far from what i've been hearing so i think it's going to get better in ios 12 but for now i would say that the iphone 7 plus is not a two-day phone it's a one-day full phone you're not going to run out of battery throughout your day but you're definitely charging your 7 plus at night time so good standby time though if you leave it off it's going to last a long time but if you're actually using it like most people it's going to die in one day now same goes for the oneplus 6 this is not a two-day phone either this is a one-day phone as well so if you're looking for a phone that can get through the full day and is very fast the oneplus 6 is still the way to go here it's going to be really good it also has a much faster charging time with dash charging this phone is extremely fast it also gives you battery saver modes you do get that battery saving mode for the 7 plus as well the low power mode both work effectively well on both and both can get you through a day so i would not really make my decision based on battery they're both pretty good on battery life and they both get you through a day but if you want the faster charging you want to be topping up really quick the oneplus will please you a little bit more here between these two now talking about their audio quality differences this one has a mono speaker this one has a dual speaker at the nick ackerman's latest video let's go ahead and we're going to test the quality or the sound of both of these so i got my little sound meter here and i'm going to hit max and we're going to see what happens Okay, so we got 94.1 on the bottom speaker. Let's go back to the beginning and take a look at the top speaker now. So, what is up, guys? Nick here, helping you to mess your technology. I'm back on camera once again. No, I'm not just this guy. Okay, so we maxed out at 96.8 there on the top. So, combined, that's pretty loud front firing speakers for the 7 Plus. Let's take a look now at the OnePlus 6. What is So you can see a whopping 99.5. So that mono speaker, while it is louder than the iPhone 7 Pluses, both of them, it's not louder combined because you have two speakers firing forward. And this is also easy to cover up. So from a pure audio standpoint, you know, externally, the iPhone 7 Plus is going to be your better option here. Um, on the OnePlus 6, though, you do have yourself that headphone jack. So if you're a headphone jack person, just pick the OnePlus 6 up. You're going to love this thing. But, you know, it still kind of has no dual speakers which is kind of the standard here in 2018 between most flagships so that kind of is noticeable if you've had a phone before with dual speakers so keep that in mind really assess if you use bluetooth headphones or not because if you do i think you'll like the 7 plus's ability to sound a little bit more fuller and just having that front firing ability from that top speaker so keep that in mind when deciding between both of these although you will have to use that lightning dongle introduced with the 7 series now talking about their camera abilities here the iphone 7 plus is a dual camera it was the first on an iphone and it does have optical zoom it's a fantastic camera and i think to this day it still performs admirably well it does have a video recording capability of up to 4k at 30 fps and it does bring the famed portrait mode here to the device square modes it's loaded with the features the only thing you don't get is the 4k 60 and the 4k at 24 fps but the photo quality is fantastic the oneplus 6 probably punches slightly above the one iphone 7 plus when it comes to saturation on those photos also gives you that 2x it's not optical but you'd be hard pressed to see the difference between this 2x and a 2x on the iphone 7 plus it also gives you a probably i think a better software experience when it comes to the actual photos but on the whole i found the photos to be a little bit more saturated for the ones on the one plus and a little bit more natural for the ones you're going to find on the iphone 7 plus so i'm just take a quick photo of these phone boxes i have right here and we could take a look at what i'm talking about so you can see just how much it punches up the saturation on photos there over there on the one plus and just how much more natural it looks here for the 7 plus so you got to kind of decide between that factor right there when it comes to photos of people's faces a little bit softer on the one plus and it's a little bit more natural again for the 7 plus so just pick between natural or saturated camera here for the one plus that's basically what i'm seeing a lot of people like those punched up photos for instagram and stuff though so that's where the one plus 
will win. In terms of video, you know, that's where OnePlus has that 60 FPS. But if you guys would like to see a full camera comparison between these two, let me know down below. I will consider creating that if there's enough interest surrounding that. On the whole, they're both gonna be pretty good cameras for no matter which one you go with, I think you'll be pretty happy. I think the OnePlus has a little bit more feature packed. I probably would pick the OnePlus here overall if I was to choose just based on the camera. And lastly, let's talk about their call quality between both of these. Now, the iPhone 7 Plus hasn't been my favorite phone for phone call quality, but it's still pretty darn good. On a scale of one to 10, I give it an eight because I had a few drop calls in throughout my usage. A few times people said they couldn't hear me that well. It wasn't my favorite iPhone all time for the call quality section, but it hasn't let me down at all really. So it was just a couple of times, but on the OnePlus 6, you know, great signal strength. It's, it's held signal just fine. Haven't had no dropped calls, but I've had too many times just in this past, just in this past few weeks of using this, I've had more people say they can't hear me on the OnePlus 6 than my entire use case of the 7 Plus, which is much longer than the OnePlus 6. So if you're looking for the best phone call quality at this point, until they update the software on the OnePlus 6, I haven't seen any improvements with the call quality. It's not fantastic. Don't get me wrong. It gets the job done. You'll still be able to make a call, but don't be surprised if you get a OnePlus 6 and people say they can't hear you. You might have to put your mouth a little closer to that speaker because it's not the best in my experience so far. So based on what I've seen, I would pick the 7 Plus when it comes to just their pure phone call abilities. So here we are at the final conclusion. What should you buy? Should you buy the iPhone 7 Plus at a similar price point or should you buy the OnePlus 6? I think it's surprising how good the 7 Plus still is here in 2018. Now, a lot of people will disagree. They don't like the 7 Plus. For me personally, I think it pretty much matches up easily to the OnePlus 6. The only area where the OnePlus 6 easily pulls ahead is the design. It definitely looks 2018, whereas this definitely looks 2016. So if you want to feel like you have a newer, more, you know, innovative looking design, I think you'll be more happy with the OnePlus 6. But if you really like, you know, a little bit more better app quality, a little bit better app polish, I think you'll still like the iOS operating system on the 7 Plus. But overall, both are about the same price. I think the 7 Plus will hold its value a little bit better over time. I think that the OnePlus 6 overall is still a better value because it does have a slow-mo camera on the back as we talked about earlier. It also has a fingerprint and a facial unlocking feature and it does have the ability to shoot in 4K at 60 FPS, something the iPhone 7 Plus can't do, but this has IP67 water resistance and this one doesn't have a rating at all so i mean it really comes down to your personal preference here it's pretty close but i think the slight nod for value goes to the one plus six and that's it iphone 7 plus versus one plus six which one should you buy we broke it down and like i said i think the one plus six is the better value between both of these especially since they're at the same price point but if you do want to be in the ios ecosystem this is still a stellar phone for the money for the 7 Plus, but I still would recommend if you're buying a 7 Plus to look for a third party, you can save a substantial amount of money on this device, but still, it's a stellar phone. What are your thoughts? Do you own both of them? Do you own one of them? Share that with the community down below. If you found this video helpful, enjoyable, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click that like button for me. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well. I will catch you all in the next episode and peace.